Nothing very important ever happened. But today, Farmer Brown nervously paced the floor, biting his nails. For many years, he had prayed for a son to help him on the farm. was a sad disappointment to his father. Once when Tom got tired of playing around, he crawled into his father's pipe for a little nap. Of course, it wasn't long before Farmer Brown decided to enjoy a little smoke. We've heard of hot foot before, but this... certainly was lucky that little Goldie was home to put the blaze out. When Tom was 10 years old, he was still two inches tall. Poor Farmer Brown was starting to get worried now. He was perfectly normal otherwise, but not in the eyes of little Kitty, who saw in Tom the reincarnation of a little mouse. like Tom has grown an inch. <laughs> it was too good to be true. <laughs> Two inches tall. Two inches tall. Not even a sixteenth of an inch more. <laughs> His father's emotional outburst made Tom feel very low, and that was low indeed. And there was really nothing he could do but hope and dream that someday he would make his parents feel very proud of him. Now that wasn't very nice of Goldie. Help! Help! Save me! I'm drowning! Help! I'm drowning! Unable to swim, save Tom battled me. for his life. And as he went down again, Goldie's feminine heart melted. Oh, darn it! More trouble! Now, I suppose you'll tell me the fish helped to him. Oh, looks like we're going to lose our farm. And all the time, I was hoping our son would be big and strong to help us. Instead, we have to put up with a troublesome little, uh, uh, a little mouse. Poor little Tom. What was he to do? The farm had suffered a terrible drought. What's this? Three samples of garden vitamins, eh? Hooray! Tom would mail the coupon, and he did. That's what we call service. Gosh, 
look at these packages of vitamins. But it's still a terrific job for little Tom to put over. So go to it, Tom. It looks like it'll take more than a pill to rejuvenate this old hen. An egg a day keeps the axe away. It looks like Tom hit the jackpot. Oh, these vitamins should put plenty of zip into him. Imagine not a sign of vegetation. Say, if it makes that grow, why can't it do the same to Tom? It sounds fantastic, but if Tom took some of these vitamins, he might grow up to be what his poor father hoped and prayed for. Why, why doesn't Tom think of it? Oh, well, perhaps it's better to keep him the way he is. Cute, isn't it? You see, Ma? Ain't I always said we'd be proud of our little Tom?